April 14th, we tapping in. Becoming an expert in what matters. Believe me, it's better to produce the balance sheet of your own life than that of a grain of the grain market, Seneca, on the brevity of life. The things that some people manage to be experts in, fantasy sports, celebrity trivia, derivatives, and commodity markets, commodities markets, 13th century hygiene habits of the clergy, we can get very good at what we're paid to do or adept at a hobby we wish we could be paid to do. Yet our own lives, habits, and tendencies might be a mystery to us. Seneca was writing this important reminder to his father-in-law, who, as it happened, was for a time in charge of Rome's granary, but then his position was revoked for political purposes. Who really cares, Seneca was saying, now you can focus that energy on your inner life. At the end of your time on this planet, what expertise is going to be more valuable? your understanding of matters of living and dying, or your knowledge of the 87 bears, <laughs> which will help your children more, your insight into happiness and meaning, or that you follow breaking political news every day for 30 years. So it's not what you're an expert in. Well, it is. It's not being an expert at something. It's what you're being an expert in. So if it's something idle or not pertaining to your purpose, it might not hold as much weight as something that, you know what I'm saying, might matter. You know what I'm saying? You can be refined in uh, raising a kid or you could be refined in uh, basketball analytics. <laughs> Which one matters? So be an expert, becoming an expert in what matters. April 14th. Bye-bye.